The second video that I'm posting today is a another JKA video called Karate Self-Defense. It is an early 1960s video. I'm not sure exactly what year, but I'm guessing about 1964-65. Um, this is a video that was done by the JKA as kind of an advertising for the techniques of karate as used in self-defense. Sensei Nakayama, once again, as in the other two videos from today, is the main participant in it, and it shows uh, him utilizing karate self-defense techniques in various situations. Um, being attacked, there's also some women's self-defense and things like that. Uh, this video, if anybody has read Moving Zen by Mr. Nickel, uh, he talks about making of the books that are associated with this video. Unfortunately, neither uh, Nickel or I think Dan Drager are in this particular um, film. However, they did appear in the books. And when I was much younger, I'd say about 25 years ago, maybe even 30 years ago, I remember these books were still available in bookstores, this karate self-defense books. Uh, starring, among others, um, Nickel and Drager. But in this video, uh, we see mostly uh, Mr. Nakayama defending against well-known uh, JKA instructors of the time. Like I said, once again, this video is from uh, about 1962 to maybe 1965. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I can do more research on that. Uh, it appears that this video has a voice track that was added at much later time. Um, this, if, if whoever added the voice track wants me to remove it for copyright reasons, please let me know and I'll do so right away. Uh, the video is interesting and, and uh, of historical significance without the voice track itself, so I will have no problem doing that. All right, well, thank you very much and enjoy the video. Have a nice day. In the early 1960s, the Karatikas of the Japan Karate Association, led by JKA Chief Instructor Masatoshi Nakayama, met in front of the Meiji Jingo Chinto Shrine in the Tokyo District Shibuya. Many of the karate masters who had come later went out into the world to help karate become more popular among the public. Tsuki, Uke, Uchi, Kerry and Sabaki are the basic techniques of the martial art karate do. Everybody who is well trained in karate techniques will be able to successfully defend himself against one or several opponents and prevent himself from, and others from injuries.
grab handles, clinches or an arm twisted onto the back. May affect the Karateka, but he has to and will be able to free himself using his freely available body parts and perform a counter attack. Forcing the opposing strength into one's own advantage. Twist movements and throw techniques are as important as well-trained hits and kicks. Knife attacks are extremely dangerous. Here it's important to avoid attacks, keep moving and to watch out not to get hurt. However, an avoidance going too wide makes one's own counter-attack more difficult. Therefore, just like in an open fight, a distance needs to be found that makes the opposing attack more difficult on the one side and enables the application of one's own counter on the other side.
Well-functioning body avoidance movements are very meaningful when one is attacked with hit weapons. Avoiding, stepping into the next hit and forcing the attacker down in close combat are the basics of defense. The open form of fighting is Jiu Kumite. Neither attack nor defense are predictable. Therefore, the fighters need to move in a way that they can defend themselves at any time, but also attack immediately. In order to avoid injuries, attacks are stopped right before hitting the target. On the way of karate, one needs to have a pure heart and constant practice, day by day.